Very early in the year, the Federal Inland Revenue Service is already galvanizing energies, ideas, comparing notes with international best practice, hoping to produce a roadmap on how they can be better at what they do, collecting taxes and driving revenue. The focus at this retreat is digital economy. Taxes need enabling laws to be effective in collection, so most of the participants here are members of the National Assembly. The thinking is to have them listen, then subsequently initiate tax laws in that direction. In this dynamic environment that we find ourselves, the digital economy and other reasons, we have come up with initiatives to ensure that we have a robust tax administration that is beneficial to all stakeholders. The parliament is here. The 2019 budget has not yet been approved, but we hear in the corridors of power that the target for FIS is in the region of 8 trillion naira. And with their support and the support of all taxpayers, we believe it is achievable. According to the experts, Nigeria is five years behind South Africa and three years behind Kenya in capturing revenues from the digital economy should an enabling law take effect today. But like the saying goes, it's never late to start. The traditional task loss cannot adequately task the digital economy. It's obvious. The developed and the developed countries are working together to say how do we address this issue. We therefore need to leverage the relevant task initiative to get our own fair share of the income from the digital economy. And a suggestion is we should possibly put a committee in place and look at the suggestions that are in the OECD document. Uh, you want to, see to which the parliamentarians are already showing signs of cooperation. I want to assure you of our commitment and support in ensuring that your mandate are achieved. The National Assembly has and will continue to support every viable means that will lead to an efficient tax system under the digital economy. This is where we're having it. When eventually applicable, as backed by law, the potential revenue from digital platforms are projected to be very significant. Olu <laughs> Phillips, Channel Solution News.